Hey everyone, so this is my review of American Horror Story 1984, called episode 1, called Camp Redwood. And essentially what this episode is about is that five or six friends all decide to take a trip out of Los Angeles to escape from the city life and the upcoming Olympics to go to work at this camp called Camp Redwood. And as they're there, they discover the horrific past that um, caused the camp to be closed down in the past. And this was such a very interesting and kind of good first episode that definitely did revolve mostly around getting to know each of the main different characters and how they sort of fit into the story and roles and stuff. And that was very interesting to see how well they did at sort of playing with a lot of the 1980 horror movie sort of tropes and stuff. And I'm very interested to see where that's going to go in the future. Where if they're going to stick with those original tropes and have like the black kid be one of the first to get murdered or have the virginist girl be the final girl and have all these different sort of original 80s horror movie tropes play out. Or if they're going to flip the table and change things up and stuff and I'm just like I said very interested and very excited to see if they're going to stick to that and what they're going to do with that going forward. And then I'm also very interested with the villain of the um, Mr. Jingles and him and his whole past and stuff and I'm very interested to see if that's going to turn out to be the actual villain or if they're going to flip the table there and have um, the lady who is now the camp counselor or like camp headmaster and stuff like that be the one who truly is the villain and he ended up being or attempting to be the hero or something like that and trying to stop her and instead she ended up blaming him for all the murders and stuff and if that was true that'd be interesting but I'm also very excited to see what they're gonna do just to try and survive Mr. Jingles if he is the true villain after all and just how everything played out with um, all these different characters and why they chose to sort of go to this camp and stuff was very interesting where the main two that we sort of got to see was with um, Xander and you saw a bit of his where he sort of has this stalker or someone coming after him so he wanted to escape from Los Angeles to get away from them. Then Brooke being attacked by the night stalker and her being afraid of him coming back to finish her off. And so she wants to leave as soon as she can to get away from that. And I'm very interested to see how all that plays out. And I really did enjoy them bringing back the Night Stalker from Hotel to actually be prowling around in 1984 like he was. And that was just a fun little touch that I really did enjoy seeing him show up again. Then just overall this was a really entertaining episode and I'm just so excited to see where this season is going to go and how they're going to reveal more of the other ca main characters' backstories as well as sort of establish possibly a bit more about what was up with this hitchhiker and how he's connected to Mr. Jingles. And just I'm so excited to see what they're going to do with this season because it seems so different and so interesting and I'm just so excited to see where the story is all going to go. So yeah. That's my review of American Horror Story 1984 episode 1 called Redwood. So, yeah.